What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be showing you my first Rubik's Cube, five years later. So this is my first Rubik's Cube, the Rubik's 2.0, which I got around February 2015 on my 8th birthday. So this cube costs like around like $12, so it's not too cheap for a cube like this. Out of the box, the turning used to be uh, pretty smooth, but it was also really loud, so it was smooth and loud at the same time. But as of 2020, after living with Mario Lou, this is how it turns. The turning isn't really smooth, and uh, the is really loud and crunchy. And it's also really bumpy, despite it doesn't have any magnets. For corner cutting, uh, in 2015, the corner cutting wasn't really good. It, it was corner cut till here. A wrist cut was about here, I believe. But after leaning with Mara Lube, this is the corner cutting has improved quite a bit. So the corner cutting is about here about line to line and the verse is about this much here for stability uh when i first got this cube the cube was pretty stable but uh, as of now the cube isn't really stable it lost some of its stability as you can see here it doesn't even look like a cube anymore like here that now to show you the overall performance, I'll be doing a solve. Overall, this as of now 2020 cube is just a slight improvement from the 2015 one. The 2020 version has pretty good turning, really good corner cutting, but the stability is the only step down, but that's just a minor problem. So that is it for my review on the Rubik's 2.0 five years later. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.